What is a Twit card and why do some people need them? Transportation is a crucial aspect of our daily lives, especially if you're in the shipping industry. With millions of goods transported every single day, ensuring the safety and security of these shipments is of the utmost importance. One significant measure taken to maintain the security is the introduction of the Transportation Worker Identification Credential, also known as a TWIC card. So what is a TWIC card? Well, a TWIC card is a biometric identification card issued by the TSA. If you're unsure of what TSA stands for, it is Transportation Security Administration. It was introduced as part of the Maritime Transportation Security Act, or MTSA, back in 2002. So the primary purpose of this card is to provide a more secure credential for workers who require unescorted access into the ports, unescorted being the main word there. The TWIC card contains an individual's photograph, name, serial number, and integrated circuit chip. Now this chip stores all of that data. It stores the holder's fingerprints and other personal data, ensuring that only authorized personnel can access these restricted areas. So who needs a TWIC card? Well, TWIC cards are required for individuals who work within the maritime industry and need access to secure areas in the ports, vessels, and other maritime facilities. Just a few examples of someone who might need this are truck drivers with access to the port who don't want to have to get an escort every single time they go to pick up or drop off a container or port facility employees themselves, as well as vessel crew members. But it is important to note that not all carriers or transportation workers need a TWIC card. Again, only those who require unescorted access to the ports are required to obtain one. So what's the point? Why do some people need a TWIC card? Well, there's a few different reasons. Number one would be security. One of the main reasons carriers need TWIC cards is to ensure the security of our nation's maritime transportation system. By limiting access of the secure areas to only those with a valid TWIC card, the risk of unauthorized individuals gaining access to sensitive information or compromising the safety of the maritime facilities is significantly reduced. Another would be compliance with regulations. The MTSA mandates that all personnel requiring unescorted access to secure areas within the maritime transportation system must possess a valid TWIC card. Carriers and other transportation workers need to obtain a TWIC card to comply with these regulations and avoid potential fines or penalties. Thirdly, it streamlines access. Having a TWIC card allows carriers to access the ports without needing to undergo the additional security checks every single time they want to go pick up a container. It also alleviates the need for an escort like we talked about. So this streamlined process saves time for the carrier and for the facility operators. Fourth, and lastly, there's now trust here and accountability. So having TWIC cards helps establish trust between carriers, facility operators, and regulatory authorities. Since the cards are issued only after a thorough background check, they serve as proof that the holder has been deemed trustworthy and possesses very little to no security threat. So that's what a TWIC card is, but what is the process for a person to actually obtain a TWIC card? Well, there are several steps, but it's not overly complicated. Here's a detailed breakdown of the process. The first is going to be an application. So the first step in obtaining a TWIC card is to complete an online application via the official TSA TWIC website. Now this is just tsa.gov. There are a few pages of personal information that you'll need to complete, but it's all really simple question and answer. And all the questions are about the person filling out the test. So if you're going to take the test, do not cheat. They're all personal questions. After that, you're gonna to wanna to schedule an appointment. So after completing the application, schedule an appointment at a nearby TWIC enrollment center. You can find a list of the enrollment centers, again, at tsa.gov. It is recommended though that you make an appointment because even though they accept walk-ins, they do not pay attention. Number three would be prepare your required documents. So before you actually attend your appointment, gather all the necessary documents to prove your identity and eligibility. So let's take a look at who is going to be eligible and who's not. Now I'm gonna read directly from the TSA website here. And I quote, you may apply if you are a US citizen, lawful permanent resident, naturalized citizen, or non-immigrant alien, asylee, or refugee who is in lawful status. Applicants may be ineligible due to one, incomplete or false application information, and two, disqualifying criminal offenses and other factors. Know that before you apply. 
For your appointment, you're gonna to need to bring two things. Number one is gonna be a valid government issued photo ID, for example, like a driver's license or a passport. And the second is gonna be proof of citizenship or immigration status. So this could be a birth certificate or a permanent resident card. You can find a complete list of the acceptable documents on the TSA's website, which is tsa.gov. During your appointment, you're going to present your identification and eligibility documents that we talked about. They will take your fingerprints for biometric data collection. They'll have your photograph taken as well for your TWIC card, and you'll need to pay the required fee, which at the time of recording this right now is $125.25. And there is a reduced fee if you're eligible, and we're gonna talk about who's eligible in just a second, of only $93. So who is eligible for the reduced fee? Again, quoting right off of tsa.gov, to be eligible for the reduced rate, you must present a valid driver's license with a hazardous materials endorsement or a free and secure trade card. Please note, if you select the reduced rate, your new TWIG card will be valid for five years from the chosen document's issuance date. Okay, that last part is really important. This may not actually save you any money. Notice how it says, if you select the reduced rate, your new TWIC card will only be valid for five years from the chosen document's issuance date. For example, if your hazmat endorsement was issued three years ago, your new discounted TWIC is only good for another two years, meaning you'd be paying about $46.50 a year versus the non-discounted $25.05 a year because it's good for five years. So the discounted rate in this case is actually about twice as much as the non-discounted rate. Next is gonna be a background check. So once your application is submitted, the TSA will conduct a security threat assessment, which includes a thorough background check. This process evaluates your criminal history, immigration status, and any potential security threat indicators. And finally, you receive your TWIC card if, and only if, your application is approved and you pass your background check. So once your application is approved, you'll receive your TWIC card by mail within seven to 10 business days from the completion of the background check, not from your application, but from the completion of the background check. You can have it mailed to your home or you can go pick it up at the TSA application center that you had your appointment. If you lose your card, you can submit for a replacement card. Again, all the information's right there at the tsa.gov site. Replacement cards at time of recording right now are only $60. And remember that a TWIC card is valid for five years. After the five years, you're gonna to need to renew it and you can do it on the website, tsa.gov. All right, so to wrap it all up, a TWIC card is an essential security measure implemented to protect the integrity of our nation's maritime transportation system. Some carriers will need them to gain unescorted access to secure areas, comply with regulations, and streamline their operations and establish trust within the industry. For a free and complete course on how to be a freight broker, and some really useful information for just about anybody in the transportation industry, go to ICan'tRemember.com and click on free training. Sign up, show that you subscribe to our channel, and get access to the Domestic Broker course. I'll see you there.